everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, you read the title, we're doing a little thrift haul. Spent all my money at the thrift store because my boyfriend cheated on me and I thought to myself, let's channel this energy into something that's also like used, thrown away and forgotten about and uh, I will pick it up and love it. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? Am I right? Um, anyways, all good here on the emotional front. That's what my therapist for, but seriously, been thrifting more than ever. You know, I want to launch like a little Depop. I want to be doing closet sales, stuff like that. I have hoarded the most amazing amount of things for you guys. Really, really good stuff that I am excited to share. But in the meantime, I'm going to share with you some things that I've gotten for me. Not to say that they may not end up in the closet sale at some point or another. Um, but I'm just going to jump right into it. Let's start with shoes, actually. I think we're going to start with shoes. I've had some luck with shoes and I'm very excited to share it with you. So first pair here. First pair, this really cute green pair. You know I'm into the block heel, I'm into the pumps. Mostly what got me about these shoes is the color. I like that they're super wearable. The color is fan-fucking-tastic. So I will be wearing these out. Um, they're really nothing special, not that great of quality, but for a fun color, good shape, I definitely think I will get some use out of these. I think it would also look good with an all-black outfit to add a little something-something, but it would also look good um, you know, with an all green outfit, because green is definitely my color of the moment. Next up, okay, so I, for the longest time, I just did not know how I felt about cowboy boots. I'm just like, mm, I don't know, I don't know what's for me. Um, I thought it was a little too yeehaw, but I am full on the yeehaw train, and I really actually like the juxtaposition of a more western shoe with either like a more wacky kind of outfit or like a very streamlined outfit. I just think it adds a little something interesting. And I was looking, 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 and one day I was at this thrift store called Faith Farm out here in South Florida, and I'm looking at the shelves and I was like, damn, I'm like, where are all the shoes? It was like so picked over. I look up, I see these gorgeous boots. Okay, I can eyeball things like both clothing and shoes and I can know if it fits me and I like got a really good sense for these. Put them on, fit like a glove, $7. So these are amazing, completely embroidered. They are genuine leather. They're not like the best quality of all time, but I really, really, really like them. And this might be my favorite find of the haul. I mean, you've already seen these on Instagram. It was just like boots with everything. That is it, period. You know what I mean? Speaking of cowboy boots, I also found the ones that are on my feet today. You will, of course, see the cutaway here. These are these really cool black. Um, they got a lot of detail in there, too. These are definitely not real leather. These are Gianni Beanie, which I think is like a Dillard's brand or something like that. Um, but they have a great look to them. Cowboy boots are boots high, that are higher up are just more difficult for me because I have chicken legs. So, bakark. And maybe that's why I'm single. Maybe that's why my boyfriend cheated on me. Anyway, um, just kidding. Uh, those are really fantastic though and they fit my leg nicely, which I very much appreciate. And I like the black option because with a darker outfit, I think they're a little bit more conducive to that. But if anyone out there has a great pair of dark brown cowboy boots that are more fitted to the leg in an eight, eight and a half holler at your girl. Pair of shoes that I found today actually. Really, really like these. I was immediately attracted to the toe. There are these red pumps. They have that more 90s heel that's like, it's still skinny, but it's not a stiletto. It has a squareness to it. Um, these are just really cool. I love the color. Love it. They're red, first of all. Hello, power color. Can you tell I'm making up for a breakup or what, ladies? Um, anyway, I really like the shape of these. They remind me of a Prada shoe that Rachel from That Chic wore several times. I don't know the exact video. I remember seeing them in a video. I think it was the Good Night Rachel or something when she's getting ready for a night out. And uh, they just got a little strap across the top. I just think they're really ladylike and flattering and they fit me very nicely in a great color. What is not to like. While we're on the accessories train, I want to quickly mention two bags that I grabbed. Um, this one, I this is a whole vibe. This is this fuzzy bag that I got. And I just think this is so amazing. I think you could be wearing a t-shirt and jeans and this is just like, bam, super cool. The brand is XOXO, which I think is, uh, I don't know if they still make stuff or if this is a more 90s brand. You know, again, a little cheapy bag, but it's a lot of fun and like spending five bucks on something like this to add a little something to your outfit. 
I think it's totally worth it and I also think it's really fun for the fall winter months because I live in Florida that's about as much faux fur that I can wear without having a full-on heat stroke then I also picked up this little Nine West bag I'm into the little bag trend you guys I'm here for it my everyday bag is this snake bag let me grab it really quick to show you so this little snake one's like my everyday bag this is like a really nice leather one that i grabbed um and i just love the print i like adding it with like any single outfit because it just adds a little more interest and that's like a big little bag so i don't like them too small but this one from nine west is obviously like an authentic like 90s nine west one the print of it kind of gives me like a fendi vibe and i like that it's a monochromatic print because i can imagine myself wearing this with a ton of outfits and now that I've hauled it I can release it back into the world and by world I mean my closet so I can wear it guys we're back on the dating train baby I had a boyfriend I reeled him in for a good four months and that's all it took to be left in the dust <sighs> Thank God I'm seeing my therapist tomorrow. Anyway, let's keep on the accessory train again. I have two belts to share with you really quickly. I am the world's biggest whore for chain belts. And I found two heart ones actually, and hearts are kind of like my thing. I just really, really dig them. Um, for someone who's so not in love right now, it's kind of cool, right? So anyways, I found this silver one. It's so cute. It's a little beat up, but I think layering this with like a couple other ones is adorable. Looks good around a dress, pants, shorts, get creative. It looks good with everything. I love that one. Um, then I also found it in gold and I what I love about this one is that like it's this copious amount of layers that it has It's so amazing like has all these layers so it already looks all draped and fantastic It's all messed up right now. I don't know what I did to it. It's all wrapped up But when it's on in the try on you're gonna see how cool this looks I also like to layer this with other belts and it just immediately adds Interest to your outfit like how could it not you know what I mean? So let's start with pants. I found some badass pants that I'm excited about. Let's start with the most exciting pair. Um, these are fucking amazing because they have suspender straps on them. I mean, hello. And I think that these are again, like late eighties, like early nineties, little cuties. Um, they go super, super high waisted, the suspenders, and then they're just more billowy navy pants wear this with anything. I think it looks good with the tank top. I think it would look good with like a sheer long sleeve shirt as well. I have this really voluminous 50 shirt. Maybe that's what I'll wear it with in the cutaway for you. I have this really voluminous 50 shirt that I think the sleeves would just look amazing at these huge nylon sleeves. I just think it's a really cool feminine and very flattering nod to menswear. And I am so, so here for that. These are another one of my favorite finds. Then I found some corduroy, which I absolutely do not need in this weather, but I'm going to be keeping myself warm for the next fucking lifetime. So let's, let's layer it up, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so anyway, I found these brown Ralph Lauren cords. They fit really awesome. I love that they're not very tight through the leg. I don't think I've ever been more over something than skinny jeans. Like, uh, get them away from me. I'm so not into them at all. Um, but these, they do get nice and tapered at the end, so it allows the fabric to kind of just sit kind of cool and nice. Um, and they're brown, and I'm super into brown. I think it pairs well with so many different things. I think it would look great with those red shoes I got, white top. I mean, I could take this many places. Then I found these white pair of pants, Tommy Hilfiger. Um, these are really nice as well, nice and fitted at the waist. Again, a little bit more of a billowy, kind of flowy fit that I prefer, because I like wearing with more of like a slutty little shirt. And I use slutty in the most loving way, by the way. Like, I, I really enjoy that word. Um, anyway. It's not derogatory at all whatsoever, um, but I like wearing with like a smaller little crop shirt showing more skin or something plunging down like crazy ton of necklaces. That's kind of the vibe with this. I'm super in to the white pants and I've been looking for white pants also forever. I thought about chopping them into shorts just because I wear shorts so much, but I really like the fit of those. So I think that they will remain pants for now and who knows, maybe they'll turn into shorts at some point. Speaking of shorts, I found 
three pairs of shorts, one of which I'm wearing right now, so I'm not gonna hold them up, but I will show them to you in the cutaway. And these I found in the pajama section. Um, I know that we're all privy to the pajama section now. That's definitely a thing. I know like people in thrifting videos always be like, a good tip and trick is to look in the lingerie section. It's like, sweetheart, we've been looking in the lingerie section for the last three years. We've all loved cami tops for the last three years. So I find that it's actually pretty picked over. Um, but I got lucky with these. They fit really nice. And I think they're really flattering on the bootay. But they cover enough and I can pull them up high enough without them being too short as well. And then I like layering this with a bunch of belts. So you will see this cut away because this is the outfit I'm wearing today. Got like a little Rolling Stones tee on. The black boots I showed you in the shorts with a bunch of belts and it's just an easy, uh, interesting, but I'm not trying too hard kind of look, which I like. A little bit more formal shorts. These are some little 70s shorts I picked up at Salvation Army. They're like $3, so awesome. And at first when you look at them holding up, you're like, that's for an infant, Ashley. But they're completely elasticated in the back, baby. So we get some more um, stretch in there and they fit really, really nice. Again, not overly tight on the leg, which I like because I have really thin legs. So it's like, let's make me look like a more shapely woman shall we so these are really great they have belt loops if you want to add a little belt um but i just think it's cute again pair of the t-shirt pair of the blouse you could take this many different directions final pair of shorts i found today um they're nothing special i really wish that they were a nicer material i like the 70s ones significantly more but it's just a really nice pair of black shorts that i think look really really flattering and i love wearing shorts with my cowboy boots so that's why I got these and also they're black and will go with everything, obviously a bit more versatile than red as much as I love to wear red. Let's get right into tops. Well, no, let's, let's quickly go to dresses because I only have two dresses to share with you. Um, one of which I found in the lingerie section as well. And this one needs a steam. This one I got a, it doesn't fit me quite right. This one I actually might sell. I just had to get it because it is so mfing good um and it would also be a nice little sexy time outfit too if you chose to do that but i also think a night out on the town would be even more fun so coming from the single person but yeah anyway um red little victoria's secret true silk uh well not true 100 percent silk slip again nice length to it i just don't quite fill it out in the chest i think that's kind of what's missing but the back is all open and ties with a knot i think this would be a really beautiful holiday dress if you were somewhere where it's not super cold or you could throw a little um throw it on with some tights maybe in like a uh, faux fur jacket or some vintage fur of course i'm here for that um, but I think like once you get inside and like it's toasty and like you have like the the heater on and stuff And you could take it off and be like ooh la la You know a woman's back I think is one of our sexiest Features so I am very here for it this next dress I Had to get I think it's at the heart of how I get dressed and my my ethos towards dressing um, ultimately and it is this literal clown print dress and i don't know if this is handmade i don't know where the hell this came from but i'm in love with it huge enormous crazy sleeves it had full football player shoulder plaids in here i had to get rid of them they were just not flattering at all i think it just looks good being billowy and a little bit more soft but it's also a mini dress and the print is all primary colors with fucking clown shoes on it how amazing is that? This is everything. Again, I would love this. Big gold chain, bell, or just big old belt in general. Nice big belt to cinch it in, give it a little bit of shape because it is a um, shift dress. And it is a little bit dropped waist, but not drop waist to the point. It's more like a ruffle rather than a drop waist so it doesn't throw off the silhouette, I think, to belt it. And then with my light cowboy boots, I think I want to wear this like on my birthday or something. I'm probably gonna find something more amazing at the thrift store by the time my birthday comes around on the 1st of February, but this is like... I just almost forgot I got cheated on, so great. Anyway, which I will tell that full tale. Well, no, I did kind of tell that tale, actually. I told that tale. So if you caught my last Get Ready With Me, you guys know, you're all caught up with me. Um, but let's get ready right to tops. I have 
Tops, tops are the easiest thing to find for me. I gotta chill out on the top department. I need more bottoms. But this was a little bit different, and this is actually inspired by B. Jones style. I saw her style up a leather vest as a top, and it looks so amazing. I will insert a little picture here. I was like passed out. And then I saw this one, and it was small enough where I felt like I could zip it up, but it would also look really cool worn open. This thing had the tags on it still. It's by Petite Sophisticates. And this might be late 90s, it might be early 2000s. It's not terribly, terribly old. Got a little age to it, but this piece is really cool. And I think it's also great. A vest is something in leather, is something us Floridians can pretend like, you know, it's winter here. We can pretend. This next top I love. I think I'm gonna wear without a bra. Cause I don't really wear bras and I don't really want to and it throws up the throws off the vibe because it's like a tie front but I think the print is busy enough despite it being see-through where I could get away with it especially now that it gets dark at like 5 p.m. <laughs> you know what I'm saying anyway it is this adorable it's giving me very 1930s the pattern of it is totally inspired by that with the fluttery sleeves but it's really meant to be like a cropped shawl I believe and this is like a 90s has great shoulder pads so we, they're the perfect shoulder pads. They give it just that really clean sharpness that I very much like and I think is very, very feminizing and flattering. Um, but I love the colors of this. I think it would look really good with the white pants. It would look good with, um, I have beige shorts and cowboy boots would also look amazing. I am in love with this. One of my favorites from the haul, absolutely. I found this children's cami and it was full. Look how glitter, even on camera it looks amazing. Full glitter. Full amazing, I am so here for this. Thought for New Year's Eve, this could be fun. I'll probably be at work, but you know, just in case, might be fun. But I'm here for a glitter thing at all times. This actually looks really good tucked into those suspender pants that I showed you, so that's an idea as well. But I love the idea of a basic being this much fun. So I had to grab it, because I don't really wear basics, period. Um, let's quickly throw in a little vintage piece. I've picked up a handful of vintage things and nothing crazy, nothing terribly old, you know, a couple of vintage things I found at the thrift store, but I've been good saving my money. I need four new tires. I need a new heart because it got broken to a million pieces. So these are things you have to keep in mind when we're shopping. Anyway, um, I picked up this amazing corset cover. This is from Darn Vintage. Darn Vintage is one of my favorite Instagram pages. So reasonably priced new shit constantly which i love and so this is sheer so i do have to wear this with like a little um it's not a bra it's kind of like a nipple cover or pasties if you will um but it's this little white corset cover with ruffled detail at the neck and the sleeves and it's all sealed with red silk ribbon the one on the shoulders actually looks like it's still old the one on the front looks like it's been replaced but it is real silk it's beautiful. I've worn it with those 70s red shorts that I had shown you. I'm in love with this top. I forgot about it because it's been like in a pile waiting for me to film. So I am very much excited to throw that back on and, uh, and get to wearing that again. Um, speaking of I don't wear basics, here's like a basic that I would wear. Again, it's a little more interesting. It's an all black halter, skin, skin, skin tight. It is 90s by a brand called French Kiss. It kind of looks like Hot Topic, honestly, it may be. Um, but it's like this spandexy halter top. Looks good with everything, very, very, very flattering. Again, you get a little bit of the back shown. Um, you get the clavicle shown, which I like as well. So good black halter. What is not to like? Then I got this little sweater, and I love this little sweater again. My more wintry vibes, fall vibes are like, I would wear this like beige shorts and my cowboy boots, good belt, good hat, style it up that way. But again, it's more like a little vest, but it's more cropped. But I definitely like wearing it buttoned in like a shirt. But I do like the versatility of being able to wear it opened as well if I chose to do that. But it's this, um, it's very textured, kind of like that pebble kind of knit and then it's like heathery looking so I think it's just so cozy and cute and I really love that piece. Then I have this really beautiful kimono top. So at first I thought I was going to be able to wear this like a dress and I kind of did. I do need to wear like little shorts under it if I'm going to kind of do this vibe. I wore this on Instagram so you may have seen it but it's a 100% silk top really but it has these beautiful billowing kimono sleeves so I think open this could be a really great layering piece of course give me very B. Jones style she styles up like these kimonos in the most beautiful 
interesting way but I also like the idea of like I said wearing it more like a dress with like a little shorts underneath just to be careful um, but the color I think is amazing and the sleeves are what got me but not only that it has this like palm print that's almost metallic that I think just adds such a nice little bit of interest and you almost don't notice it right away but when you really pay attention to it you do and I am in love with it Finally, I got this from the Goodwill bins actually. The bins are a lot of fun. It's essentially the Goodwill outlet where you pay per pound, so it is even cheaper than thrifting already is. And this again, I think is meant to be worn as a shawl. That's like a running theme in my life. I really like shawls, but I like to tie them up or if they're wrapped, I like to wear them like a top. Um, and this is no exception. So this I think again is a little maybe 90s, maybe more contemporary, but it's still really cool. Um, and I just like to tie it like completely around because it's stretchy, so around my back, I can't really describe it, I'll just show you in the cutaway. I like to wear it like a top, and because I'm wrapping it around so much, it really nips in the waist, so I think this would look great with a little mini skirt or a great tailored pair of pants. I mean, even if you were into wearing leggings, that's not really my vibe, but if you were, or bike shorts, it's not really my thing either, but I can imagine it pairing really, really nicely with all of those things. That is absolutely an option and something that would look fan-fucking-tastic. So, that's it. That, of course, is not everything. That's just some standout pieces that I picked up recently. I hope that you enjoyed all the try-on portions, as always. I think it really allows you to have the full fantasy. Um, but I'm really excited about what I found. How do we feel about styling videos? I like styling stuff up. I like seeing it that way. Um, also, just a shout out to the void of my South Floridians out there. I will be going to the Create and Cultivate Summit in Miami on December 7th. If any of you will be there, let me know, because I will be going alone, so maybe we could buddy up or or just say hello to me if you're going with your friends. But I'm really looking forward to that as well. 2020 is the year of the fucking girl boss. It's the year of never letting someone cheat on me again, motherfucker. Uh, just kidding, it's, it's not my fault. Nothing I could have done to prevent it. Um, but I had to make light of it. Now I'm not only broke, single, and whatever, but 2020 will be my year. Uh, but anyways, you guys, I hope you know I say this all in jest. I feel so much better. My therapist has helped me through this more grieving process. It's been a very difficult breakup situation for me. Um, I've never really felt so one-sided on a relationship before. It almost felt like a fever dream, so I'm kind of navigating through that. Um, but I'm in good spirits. I'm doing my best. You guys know how I do. Um, but I will catch you guys in my next video. Follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to post more there. You know I'm always trying. I'm always, always, always trying. But thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I really appreciate every single one of you, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye! I